What is this called and why do lawyers wear this? In this video, I'm going to answer those questions. Stay tuned. In all countries around the world, in order for a person to practice law, that person must be admitted to the bar. Admitted to the bar? No, not that bar. It's more so a recognized procedure that courts in different jurisdictions observe in admitting new attorneys to practice law. Now, I can recall when I was being admitted to the bar in my jurisdiction, I got my outfit and I had gone home to try it out. Now, when I had gone home, I went in my room and my nephew walked and I had on my outfit. And he asked, he said, Uncle David, why are you wearing a dress? I had explained certain things to him then and I would explain it to you that robe that I was wearing in my next video. But for now, I'm going to be speaking about this famous article of clothing that we wear. It's called a jabo. I'm going to leave the spelling for you right at the bottom there. Now, the meal, the meal we call it bands, and the, the version for the ladies, we call it a bib. Some persons call it a tab as well. Now, you would agree with me that there are a lot of traditions within the legal fraternity, and this is one of the traditions. In fact, it was in 1960, 1640 actually. Before that period, we never wore this. We actually wore what is called a neck ruff. I'm going to leave a photo of that right there. You can imagine us wearing that now, especially within the Caribbean jurisdiction. And that is it. Within the Caribbean, we observe the uh, Westminster system and certain principles from the UK and other places. And those principles and traditions were incorporated here within the jurisdiction of the Caribbean. And this is why we wear this uh, band. The question is whether or not we should continue wearing it. But as an attorney and observing traditions, we always give respect to former attorneys and judges who set certain precedents for us to observe. And we have to question ourselves, really, should those traditions be changed? Now, in the Caribbean, uh, in all of the Caribbean jurisdictions, if I'm not mistaken, you have attorneys wearing this ban or jabon whenever we go to the High Court and we're dealing with a trial or even with case management. What is case management? It's more, more or less uh, the, the period of time where the court will try to arrange all documents and ensure that a matter is ready for trial on both sides. Uh, once that is completed, then the matter is set for trial. So we wear our jabon. Whenever we're doing case management and for trial, you must wear your jabot with your robe. Now, at the magistrate's court, you don't normally wear your jabot or your robe. But the thing is, male attorneys, you wear or tie. I will leave a link of me showing how to tie your tie or not a tie right about there, so have a look at that. Let's move on to my next part where I'm going to be speaking about the purpose behind wearing this. I'm going to try to put on my band by myself. I'm sure if you were here, you would have a system. If you would have, just leave a little comment down in the comment section below. Or at least a like. Let me know that. Lord. Let, me, let me know how it's looking, you guys. It's looking alright. Just leave it in the comments right below there. Now, whenever a person is observing a tradition, you'd want to believe that there must be some motive or some reason behind observing a tradition. So I've done some research, I've done some inquiries, asking around, why is it that lawyers still wear this band? I've identified three reasons. There are others, but let's get into those now. One of the major reasons, Kristen C, is that this really reflects the law of God, the two tablets that Moses received from the Supreme Being. So they say that it's really an honor for us as attorneys to be the keepers of the law and order in society. So whenever we speak to the court, whenever we're practicing, we must remember that we are really representing the Supreme Being through the two tablets that God gave us. That's one. Some other persons attach some significance to it based upon what the Lord Chief Justice said in 1594 when he said that, and permit me to paraphrase, that these two clothes should be seen as two tongues. One should be seen as when you advocate on behalf of persons, you should really require your fees because those are, that is fair based upon your hard studies and your labor. You also said at the same time, use your other tongue advocate for those persons, not thinking about fees or thinking about rewards, 
but advocating because of your conscience for the poor and the oppressed. That's a noble reason to really be wearing this on. Now the third point really speaks about where as attorneys we have to remember the law and grace. Why we want to observe the black and white letters of the law, we have to also advocate before the court conscience, for the court to think and to consider what is fair in the circumstances. Now those are three reasons why persons would want to wear a ban. Some persons think that you don't really just distinguish as us lawyers, the doctors and persons in the medical profession, they have the telescope, so you can... No, no, I can't hear anything with, with this. Um, but that's, that's the reason some persons believe that, you know, um, as a Superman, Batman, they have their keep lawyers who wear this with all rope. And I'll speak about that in my next video, you guys. I just want, before I leave, to say hello to a very good friend of mine, Christian Fleming. His birthday was this week and he looks at my videos. He's presently in the next Caribbean island. I want to say thank you so much for looking at this, these videos. Love you very much and continue to support. You guys, to you as well, you've been becoming a family. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate the spreading of the videos, the sharing of the videos, the comments that you guys have been um, sending as well my way. I really appreciate that. So, until I see you in my next video, you keep good. Remember that this channel is all about simplifying the law and making the law more relatable to you. The more you know, the better you inform the working decisions. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.